Welcome to the Friday Five with Steve Greenfield on CBT News. Welcome to this week's Friday Five, where we recap the last week's automotive technology deals. This is Steve Greenfield from Automotive Ventures, and thanks for joining us. Let's get right into this week's deals. To start off today's segment, 360 Converge, a provider of communication workflow automation in automotive, announced the acquisition of Value Insight, an inventory analysis platform that can enable automated equity mining for inventory acquisition. The addition of Value Insight to the existing 360 Converge communication platform will increase dealerships texting and emailing capabilities while decreasing the labor needed to effectively monetize the store's existing customer base. This week in SPAC news, Harley-Davidson is taking its electric motorcycle division Livewire public through a merger with a blank check company sponsored by executives of AEA Investors and Bridges Fund Management. The agreement with special purpose acquisition company AEA Bridges Impact Corp will preserve much of Harley-Davidson's ownership while giving Livewire access to the capital that the public markets can provide and fold in Taiwanese motorcycle and sport vehicle manufacturer Kimco as a key partner. The deal is expected to close in the second half of 2022. The combined company is expected to have an enterprise value of about $1.77 billion and post-money equity value of about $2.31 billion at closing. Nuvo Cargo, a logistics startup out to help simplify the challenges of cross-border trade, has raised $20.5 million in a round led by Tiger Global Management. The round valued the New York-based startup at $180 million, more than double the $70 million it was valued at when it raised $12 million just back in April. The additional funding brings Nuvo Cargo's total raise to date to $37.8 million. The startup claims to pair its technology with a team of experts to integrate end-to-end -end movement of cargo in a single platform. Specifically, it offers an all-in-one service that rolls freight forwarding, customs brokerage, cargo insurance, and even trade financing into one UI-friendly software and app. The company claims it gives its customers more visibility and better data to understand their supply chain. BP took its first major step into electrification in the U.S. with the acquisition of Ampli Power, an EV charging and energy management provider for fleets that operate trucks, transit, and school buses, vans, and light-duty vehicles. Financial details of the agreement were not disclosed. Founded back in 2018, Ampli Power aims to make EV adoption easy for fleets. The California-based firm has two offers for fleet operators, fully financed charging as a service and customer finance software as a service. Ampli Power's Omega Charge Management System software provides real-time monitoring of EV charging operations and preventative maintenance for both vehicles and chargers. In inter international news this week, Bumper, a UK-based auto fintech startup, raised $12 million in Series A funding. The round was led by Autotech Ventures, with participation from Jaguar Land Rover's fund In Motion Ventures and a group of prominent angel investors. The company intends to use the funds to roll out its car repair financing platform across Germany, with plans to launch in Spain and the Netherlands in the next three months. Founded back in 2013, Bumper, which was formerly named Auto Service Finance, provides an interest-free digital payment platform for vehicle repairs and services, enabling owners to spread their costs. It also delivers an installment financing solution using proprietary AI-enabled technology to facilitate real-time lending decisions. Bumper works with 2,500 franchise dealers, over 700 garages, and major car brands across the UK and Ireland. And finally, Australia's Karma raised a $20 million seed round from Tiger Global Management. Karma has been operating in stealth for the past nine months and said the funding enables the company to recruit an executive team, develop its website, and establish its first inspection and reconditioning facility in Sydney, Australia. Increasingly, consumers want a contactless, frictionless way to not only search for and, and buy a used car, but also have it delivered to their doors, a service companies like Karma are offering in their native markets around the world. Karma will begin another round of fundraising soon to support its accelerated expansion plans in 2022. 
So with that, let's transition to our companies to watch. Every week we highlight interesting companies in the automotive technology space to keep an eye on. If you read my monthly industry intel report, I showcase a few companies each month and we take the opportunity here on the Friday Five to share some of those companies each week with you. Today we have two companies to watch, Rhombus Energy Solutions and EV Passport. First up this week we have Rhombus Energy Solutions. Rhombus develops intelligent power conversion and energy management systems for energy storage, microgrids, vehicle charging and test equipment applications. Rhombus offers standalone products, power conversion modules, semi-custom configurations as well as contracted product development services and high power certification testing. Rhombus also offers Vectorstat cloud-based multi-system communicator and monitoring for power systems with remote real-time management. Founded by some of the best engineers in the industry, Rhombus is led by a powerhouse team with a unique mix of industry experience and deep subject matter expertise. Check out Rhombus Energy Solutions at www.rhombusenergysolutions.com. Our second company to watch this week is EV Passport. EV Passport is the EV charging hardware and software platform for purpose-driven organizations. Brands committed to sustainability rely on EV Passport to provide their customers with the most seamless payment experience to charge any electric vehicle without requiring a separate app, account, or a top-up balance. EV Passport is the only platform that enhances customer engagement for these companies by providing custom branded hardware with API-powered software that easily integrates with their existing applications and services. Check out EV Passport at www.evpassport.com. So that's your weekly Friday Five, a quick wrap up of the big deals in the automotive technology space over the past week. If you're an early stage automotive technology entrepreneur looking to raise money, or an entrepreneur who is trying to decide whether and when they should raise money or sell their business, I'd love to speak with you. Thank you for tuning in to CBT News for this week's Friday Five, and we'll see you next week. Thanks for joining us for another edition of The Friday Five.